everyone. It's Friday. Oh, is this angled right? Maybe that's better. And we're heading to Lisbon very soon. We're getting the bus from Porto bus station and then taking the little over three hour drive to Lisbon. Super excited as I've never been before. I think I said that yesterday, but yeah, we're staying in one of like the main areas there. I forget what the neighborhood's called. I'll show you more when we get there. It's supposed to be sunny there today and tomorrow and a bit warmer. So I'm looking forward to that. I think that's pretty much it for now. So I'll see you on the bus or in Lisbon. And we have the cutest room with this big window. It's a really nice view besides obviously the construction there, but <laughs> it's really cute. You like it, mom? I love it. It's adorable. We just had a little photo shoot. Very sweet. <laughs> But I thought I would just pop in here and say that Lisbon has so many more hills than I thought. I didn't think it could get, like I knew Porto was hilly, but Lisbon, so many hills. That's something to note before you come. I mean, it was fine, but like, wow. And then like, I can't even imagine walking down in the rain. Whoa. 
All right, I gotta go. There's a monster in my hat room. <laughs> The next day, we went to breakfast at a place called... Oh, I wasn't sure how to say it, and then I heard a girl say it outside. And I tried to take mental like note of it to oh, remember, yeah. but it's gone now. I'll put the name on the screen somewhere. Quam Quambra? Anyway, it was really good. It was really cute. We got yogurt bowls and cappuccinos, and the granola was really good. And today, we think we're going to go to the botanical gardens from the University of Lisbon, like that area. I'm not sure if we're gonna go in there. We saw like a market there yesterday, so maybe we'll head over there and check that out. But we're enjoying the last that we have of this cute little room. And that's pretty much it. Oh, last night, recap last night. We kind of just came back here and then went out and it was a lot busier than we expected. Like a lot busier. Lots of bars in the sense of like, rowdy young people. <laughs> I'm old, you know? <laughs> I'm old. You can say it. <laughs> hey, I don't want that vibe either. <laughs> so we just had coffee. Yeah, so we just had coffee and then headed back here and crashed. <laughs> we went to bed because we were tired from all the walking. Exhausted. This, Lisbon's very, very hilly. Yes. So if you come, that's just why, be prepared. That's why the trolleys are packed. Yeah, that's true. And I don't think anyone wants to do it on foot. Yeah, but so we have we did so far. On foot. Yeah, and and our room is a six-story walk-up. Is it that far? It is. I counted. It is exhausting. But we're gonna head out. We're kind of prolonging leaving I because know, yeah. the room's so cute. Yeah, and it's a nice little view. Here. It is a nice view. I'll flip the camera then. But Lisbon day two. Anything else? That's no. Anything okay. Else. <laughs> Blue skies. I also wanted to mention that yesterday we got gelato at this place called Nanarella. I saw it online and then I got a suggestion to go there. And it was so, so good. One of the best gelato I've ever had. I got like a basil and a raspberry and the basil was so good. Never heard of basil gelato before. That was really, really good. <laughs> and we sat in a little park and ate that. And they had like whipped cream, handmade whipped cream, just heavy cream whipped. Yeah, you know what whipped cream is. Anyway, that's it. We're heading out now, sadly. Bye room. So sad. <laughs> bye, bye, bye window. I'm not leaving. I'm I know. leaving with you. <laughs> they're, they're gonna have to drag us out of here. Well, All right, okay, as go. we walk out the door. <laughs> Willingly. <laughs>
I'm Rita. I'm new friend. <laughs> and tell us about your business. So I have a ceramic brand called Palm. If you want to check out, we're thrifting now, and I'll see you later. <laughs> I wanted to explain where, what we did the last day in Lisbon. So you saw we went to breakfast at the really cute place. After breakfast, my mom and I headed up to the Botanical Gardens area and we just sat in a park in the little market there and like just sat there for a while, which was really cute and it was nice. It was a bit more like local there. It, there was still tourists there, but it was definitely nicer than the super main touristy bit and then afterwards i <laughs> i met up with an online friend i've been following palm ceramics on instagram for a while now and i always liked her stuff and i knew she was based in lisbon and so i asked her if she had any lisbon tips and she gave me this amazing list i asked if she could meet up and if i could buy a few pieces from her and she said yes and we ended up spending the entire afternoon together which was so nice she took us to a cafe and showed us around and was really just our tour guide for the day and was the absolute sweetest. We got coffee and we went charity shopping for a bit. It was really, really nice. Had a great afternoon, rest of the day. And her Instagram is Palm Ceramics and I'll, I'll put them up here. And you should definitely check out her stuff. It's so cute. And afterwards, my mom and I headed back to the bus and came back here. Well, oh, we did get a, a bite to eat first. Now I'm back in Porto, but thank you so much for watching my Lisbon vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like this video and to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video for some more Porto content. Bye. Can't feel 